As technology continues to evolve and take place in almost every part of our lives, once upon a time, in fact, most often we would say, spending the day at the gym was well needed to detach from our smartphones, smart devices, and technology inevitably taken over our lives. However, interestingly now in the present day, seems like spending the day at the gym or in training is just another part of our lives technology wants to take part in as well. So will humanoid robots be now replacing personal trainers in the gym as well? Well, soon technology may be able to automate repetitive tasks such as instruction, queuing, and rep counting. In the future, technology may play a larger role in assessing and designing fitness training programs. As personal trainers can be really busy, so sometimes trying to fit your availability to share theirs isn't easy especially if you are someone who likes spontaneous gym sessions while you are in the mood to work out. You might find it frustrating that your trainer isn't always available when you want. Well, that's where humanoid robots come in. Though most researchers say fitness trainers will still be responsible for overseeing the overall training experience and making important decisions. However, Programming a autonomous human-like robot like Pepper, for instance, the semi-humanoid robot manufactured by Japanese SoftBank Robotics, which actually can be programmed to count reps as well as read your emotions during a workout. Artificial intelligence is something that will always play a big role in future autonomous robots and fitness robots, as well as the humanoid, human-like appearances. For added motivation, of course. And of course, no one really does get fit or in shape without that added motivation. A fitness trainer with the perfect physique to keep you motivated? Well, slap some human-like skin and some giant boobs on a human-like robot, and you got yourself a fitness trainer and a workout. Sad to say, however, this is just another job sector robots will be replacing humans, stealing our jobs, unfortunately. But for the trainee and the person wanting to get in shape, worrying about how long you should keep a personal trainer around would no longer even need to be a thought. Because of course, the answer to that question always depends on your commitment level and ultimate goals. Generally, it's recommended to work with a personal trainer for up to 6 to 12 weeks. During this time, it is almost impossible not to build a relationship with your fitness trainer. And letting them go following your goals sometimes can be very difficult. Well, at least with a robot, you will have the independence to stay fully focused. Right. You should be nice and warm now. Think about getting ready to start running. In three, two, one, go! Brain time. Congratulations. You made it this far in the video. What would you do if I told you you could have 25 years of good luck and all you'd have to do is like this video and also subscribe if you haven't already. Well, what are you waiting for? Smash that like button and you'll get 25 years of good luck. And now, back to the video. Some people say that flying first class is the best experience anybody can have, while others say it's definitely the most comforting experience you can have on an airplane 35,000 feet above the ground. And so when we think about robots in the sky, 
most often, it's probably recalling some sci-fi anime manga or film. But actually, in fact, that notion of robots in the sky being related to anything sci-fi or paranormal or superhuman is kind of outdated. Because living in the year 2023 with supersonic boom jets that are able to fly from Vancouver to Sydney in less than 5 hours and giant airliners like the Airbus A380 which even has a shower on board a commercial airline for first class passengers then the idea of humanoid robots on a commercial airplane shouldn't be so far off. In fact Huge aviation groups like the Airbus Group have teamed up with Robotics Laboratory to launch a new joint research program that aims to develop humanoid robots that will be used for aviation manufacturing. The project is called Comanoid, which stands for Multi-Contact Collaborative Humanoids. By combining Japanese expertise in hardware and robotics, along with advanced French knowledge of mathematics and algorithms, the joint venture encourages initial progress in fields such as robot design and haptics, as well as tactile perception and continuous KDAR. The team spoke and said building on these achievements would develop multi-contact locomotion, which enables humanoid robots to move using not just their feet, but also other body parts such as elbows, knees, and hands as a human would when crawling. A new breed of humanoid robots. While in South Korea, a company called Case have gone beyond the research of developing unmanned aircrafts to testing humanoid robots designed to operate a regular aircraft by sitting in the pilot's seat and using controls just like a human would. But all of this is just boring, to be honest. What if we could have humanoid human-like female robots with giant boobs be our flight attendants or have personal companion robots in first class. But if so, then you would probably want to exercise some caution around the private onboard shower on the Airbus A380. Otherwise, you could maybe find yourself being electrocuted on an airplane. Probably not the steamy electrical scenario you were hoping for. Because they're robots, right? In 2016, the Vice Chair of the World Economic Forum Council on Robotics and Artificial Intelligence called for a ban on highly human-like humanoid robots. He stated that us as humans are not equipped in our basic brain apparatus to see something that's perfectly humanoid and not treat it as if it wasn't a human being. Basically meaning that, so in some sense, a humanoid robot is lying to us using the lower levels of our brain we don't get to actually control. Moreover, that the more a robot begins to resemble a human, the more uncomfortable people become. And he stated that this could pose a major issue for children in particular. As if children were exposed to very human-like robots at an early age, growing up in a household where there were humanoid robots and humans, it could be extremely confusing for the child and could probably result in seeing psychosis developing as a result of the machines not behaving as the child expects them to behave because they think that they're actually humans, but they're actually robots. Another study by various Japanese researchers actually found that children are likely to show serious abusive behavior towards robots. The researchers concluded that the more human-like the robots looked, the more likely it was for the kids to start beating them up. Although I can't say from personal experience, because looking back at my childhood, I never really played with robots. But from someone looking from the outside in, they kind of have a good point. For kids at least. I mean, if you want to play with robots as an adult, then that's a different story. 